friends, this month on Segway Magic we are talking about Christmas. If you missed the video where we explained how we were changing up Segway Magic, be sure to check that out. We're going with monthly themes now, and each month you have a topic that you can link up with. And meanwhile, Christy and I will be going back and forth with some conversations here on this channel, which you can always join along with as well. Last week, Kirsty chatted about her Christmas memories, and she asked me about my Christmas tree and Christmas songs, so I'm going to tell you a story about both. Putting up the Christmas tree in my house was always a sure way to cause some strife. It always came with a lot of stress because nobody wanted to like untangle the lights, and my mom was very particular about how she liked her tree without being able to communicate how that was. It was just not the way that you were doing it, but she knew what she wanted. So it was always kind of like moaning and groaning, oh, it's time to put up the Christmas tree. Except for one positive, like, related memory that I have. And my father, he wouldn't help us, but he would be on hand to start singing Christmas songs, except for he didn't know the lyrics to many, if any, Christmas songs, so he would just butcher them. His favorite for the occasion was Oh Christmas Tree, and it would go, Oh Christmas Tree, Oh Christmas Tree, Oh Christmas Tree, Oh Christmas Tree, and he would sing that over and over and over again. And that's not even a very good Christmas song, but anytime I hear it, my brain is like, ah, your childhood. In my family and in a lot of Caribbean countries, we celebrate Christmas on the 24th on Christmas Eve. And one of the traditions that my family has is that we would wait up until midnight to open the presents on technically Christmas. So a lot of my Christmas memories have to do with waiting for the period between dinner and midnight which just seemed to stretch to eternity when I was a little kid like I could not understand all of those hours so we did our best to fill it up with activities and things to do so we would stay awake and pass the time singing was one of the things that we definitely did so but it was like singing Christmas carols with traditional Dominican instruments like the tambora and the guira if you've never heard the 12 days of Christmas with the tambora and the guira that's okay, but I have. Because I grew up in a Christian home, Christmas was always very Christ-centered and Christ-focused, and we never believed in Santa Claus. You can probably see that we already have presents under the tree. Like, that whole, like, Santa came never happened for us. My parents were always like, we worked hard for these. So we never believed in Santa Claus, but my mom also never told me like, hey, other people do, so keep that information to yourself. One of my most vivid Christmas related memories was that I was in kindergarten and I shared this brilliant information with another little kid that Santa Claus wasn't real. I devastated her, and that is also the story of how I earned my first time out. It's really funny to me that Kirsty and I are the ones kind of chatting about Christmas right now. Kirsty and I come from places where there are warm Christmases. I have been swimming over Christmas vacation. So anyway, my question for you, Kirsty, is just about your plans for this Christmas. If you have any break time, vacation time coming up, what are your plans? What are you going to be reading? What are you going to be watching? What are you going to be doing? And in general, what does a Christmas break look like for you? Stay tuned for Kirsty's answers. I'm sure she'll be on time, so that'll be right on Saturday. She's already also done her link up for this month, so she talked about her favorite Christmas special. My will be up on my channel soon and don't forget that you guys can link up with us and tell us about your favorite Christmas movies or favorite Christmas specials. Leave us a link in the Goodreads group that I will link in the description and then I can put all of the videos together in a playlist and it can just be happy Christmas times. See you guys soon. And that is my Christmas tree. So it's not like the tallest thing ever, Little Miss A, but it, I mean it's not, it's not dinky, right?